Welcome to the programme. Dozens of people are believed to be buried under rubble after an Israeli attack on a school in Gaza. Emergency crews are searching for survivors after the building collapsed, killing at least 12 Palestinians, most of them women and children. Civil Defence says 700 displaced people were sheltering at the school west of Gaza City. The Israeli army says it targeted a command centre used by Palestinian fighters at the school. Ibrahim Al-Khalili reports now from the scene of the attack. I am here standing inside Mustafa Hafiz's school and this is the aftermath of a brutal air attack targeted this school northwest Gaza City resulted in killing many civilians and dozens injured. I managed to crawl from under the debris. Every time I have to run for my life. For months I've been living in fear. Israeli tanks were very close. I have lived through a lot. The moment we heard the explosion, we ran for our lives. My sister kept crying. We did not know what to do. I saw dead bodies torn to pieces. We were sitting inside one of the classrooms when we heard the loud explosion. It was so powerful that we fell to the ground. I ran searching for my children who were playing in the schoolyard. I did not find any of them. All who were in this part of the school were killed. The entire building collapsed on their heads. They were all killed. No one survived. Till when will the world stand watching in silence? We are killed and our homes destroyed. Where do we go? Civil defense forces are trying to rescue, but unfortunately, they have little to work with. They are using the basic equipment to get the trapped civilians from under the rubble. The school building was flattened to the ground. We, together with a few medical teams, are doing our best to recover the dead. I regret to say we will not be able to recover all of them, simply because we are using just our bare hands amid a total absence of equipment and other resources. This has been the case for civil defense throughout this genocidal war. Families are grieving as they are asking themselves, where do we have to go? As this school where sheltering more than 700 civilians who already got their houses destroyed due to the ongoing Israeli war on Gaza. They are now left with no shelter. Maybe they will end up in a street due to the relentless and discriminate airstrikes targeting the shelters, uh, which sheltering civilians here, northern Gaza City and, the, and in the whole Gaza Strip. Uh, families are grieving as they, their loved ones are still trapped under the rubble of this school, efforts are being exerted by civil defense forces to get uh, civilians and injured from under the rubble. Ibrahim Al Khalili, Al Jazeera, Gaza City, Palestine. Well, that was Ibrahim. Let's join uh, Hin Kudri, our correspondent in Deir al-Bala in central Gaza. Um, very difficult to know how to even begin sometimes talking about yet another school attack. Hind, because we've talked about so many of them during the last 10 months. And yet again, August has been another bloody month for the numbers of deaths of children and women in what should be safe havens. Well, yes, this is the ninth school that has been targeted since August. Uh, and, and we have been counting those schools and, and every school is a complete misery and catastrophe. Now, Mustafa Hafiz school had, had at least 700 civilians sheltering there. Um, they came from different areas across the Gaza city where there has been recent evacuation orders from the northern parts of uh, 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 Beit Lahia and Beit Hanun. And that's why Palestinians were sheltering in this school. So the Israeli forces targeted this, uh, this school and at least 12 Palestinians Palestinians were killed, but according to the civil defense teams, they're saying that there's a, mo a lot more Palestinians still trapped under the rubble. They say that the buildings completely collapsed uh, once there was um, the airstrike targeted the school and the, the, the civil defense teams are trying their best to rescue as much people as possible. Now, most of those who were killed were children and women 
uh, and also there was among them uh, the Palestinian journalist Hamza Murtaja. Now, according to our colleagues in Gaza City, they said that they were very close to the school where there was an event for children. They were covering, and at the minute the explosion happened, they started covering uh, the explosion and the target of the school. Now, this is only one school that has been uh, still targeted in the Gaza city. There has been a couple of targets on schools in the past couple of weeks, but this is not the only target on the Gaza city today. In Khan Yunis, in al Baqnis Samin area, there was a target on a residential area where at least a Palestinian were killed and others were injured. Among them is a Palestinian ch a child. And also here in Deir al a group of Palestinian uh, Palestinians were also targeted and they were transferred here to Al-Aqsa Hospital and it was also a very intense uh, deadly night for those Palestinians in Khan Yunis in the western parts uh, of uh, uh, Khan Yunis in, in, in very close to Al-Mawasi.